Welcome to our lecture online. Let's now quickly review a short definition of the four key terms, sensitivity, specificity, the positive predictive value, and the negative predictive value. In short, the sensitivity is defined as the ratio of those that are truly diseased, that have the disease or the, test, or the condition we're testing for, that actually test positive, divided by the total number that have the condition, that have the disease. So in this case, 40 have the disease, 39.2 test positive for the disease that have the disease, so it's 39.2 out of 40, that's the sensitivity, in our case that would be 98%. The specificity is equal to the definition of the ratio of the true negatives divided by the total that are healthy. The true negatives means that those that are healthy that actually test negative divided by the total that are healthy. So the true negatives here, 912 or 95 percent of the 960 actually got a negative test while they're healthy and should get a negative test. 5 percent get a positive test, but here it's the ratio of the true negatives, the ones that are healthy and actually get a negative result, divided by the total number that are healthy. That by definition is the specificity, so that would be 95 percent. Over here we have the PPV the positive predictive value, which by the way is the same as the probability that if you test positive you actually have the disease. That is defined by the ratio of the true positives divided by the total number of positives. So in this case, the true positives are the 39.2 or the 98 percent of the 40 that test positive that actually have the disease, the total number of positives that includes the true positives and the false positives. So the 39.2 divided by 87, that is by definition the PPV, the positive predictive value. Meaning if you test positive, that's the probability that you have the condition. And the negative predictive value is the ratio of the true negatives divided by the total negatives. The true negatives are here of the 960, 912 actually tested negative. These don't have the condition and 912 tested negative. You add to that the false negatives, that would be the total negatives, and when you divide the true negatives by the total negatives, you get 912 divided by 912.8. In our case, it was 99.91%. So those are the four key definitions. So it's true positives divided by the total with the condition, true negatives divided by the total that are healthy, true positives divided by the total positives, true negatives divided by the total negatives. That might be the easiest way to remember those four definitions. And that's how it's done.